Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, it's a plot to God for everything. Oh, we thank God because God was our protection this past year. He was our protection from our hearts. The problems we always happen or occur. But it's a must we thank God that with the better, we should thank God whether we have better goods. We thank God for protecting our God, His servants. We thank God for protecting our families. We thank God for protecting the church. And we thank God for protecting your families. For us to be here on this brand new year. It is something of a great value before God. And uh, we give our condolences to, to those who are sick. Pastor, uh, God is with you. God protects you. God will give. You. And we we'll give our condolence to our brother uh, Eliezer who lost the child. To you, may God be close to you in your family. Today is a day to thank God. That each one of you have something that God did for you. So, that which God did for you must stand and say, God, I thank you for doing this for me. Because when we thank God, the first thing is, it's, an ex it's, a, it's comparable to a great prayer. Or, it's, a, it's very powerful prayers. Because any time you thank God, you are showing great, great prayers. Because you are giving shame to Satan. Because what I said, because what I said that prepared for you, you became a lost So you, you pray to God and God heard your prayers. So you are testifying for what God did for you. Hallelujah. Amen. When you say, God, I thank you for what you did for me. You are showing the greatness of God that is in you. And, and another thing. You, have, you are accepting that everything, everything God did, you believe in your faith that it is God that did it. And you believe nobody else has done this other than God. Amen. And that is why we stand before the people or before the church. And we say, God, we thank you for what you did for us. Our Psalm 118 says, on verse 5, when I was in sorrow, I asked God. And I, I called upon God, and God answered me. And God brought me into a wide place. The, when you were in sorrow, the problems. When you were going through problems. Where your enemies were seeking you out. You went on your knees. And you called upon God. And God heard you. And God uh, Answered, you, you, and God heard your, 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 your voice and God saved you from your enemies God cured you from your illness and God brought you to blessings he gave you a blessing job he gave you more kids and he gave you more wealth because you're praying God heard you so God gave you to overcome education so it's so much you stand and say God I thank you because you pray to God and God heard you. And on verse 3 it says that when God is on my side, I'll be, I'll be fearless. So who can harm me? If God is on your side, you should be fearless. How can, somebody, how can a human being hurt you? Because you have God. And God is a stronghold. And at any time when you're on your knees and you're praying, God, is, God can hear your prayers. And God fulfill your promise to you. Hallelujah. Amen. This year I want to ask you. Let's consider this year a year to be remembered. A year to be remembered. What God, what God didn't do last year. But may God remember you this coming year. But do not but be careful you don't, you don't ask in a bad way. But when you're asking, asking this way. That. 
that Father, that your kingdom, let your kingdom be as you, as you want in if you go And what you want, let it be. If you refuse to do what you want me to do, use, let me, uh, use me as you want me to do. How you want me to be, let me be as you want. Hallelujah. Amen. Because if you pray in a bad way, unfortunately, you will reward Because yesterday in fasting, we heard that to be, to be transformed into a new, that if the years become new, I myself as a human should be changed and become a new person. And then let the cross be ahead of me and the world behind me because the world is push pulling but the cross can take you to Christ Hallelujah. amen and that is why we are here on the thing God because we, we see God in our problems and God you were in the hospital in the hospital God heard you I do not, not know what you went through but for sure I know that God heard you in whatever you're going through. If you pray God heard you, you if you read to give the proper uh, uh, offering, Hallelujah. Amen. If you read to give the proper offering, Hallelujah. Amen. All I see in Psalm 50, Psalm 50, verse 1 to 4. Verse 1 to 4. Psalm 50, verse 1 to 4. Psalm 50, verse 23. I'm going to read verse 23 and go back to 14. Tulasoma mwizina ya Yesu Kristo. Amen. Haravuga ngo umuntu wese ashikani ashikanira ikimazi kishimwe abampesheje icuwahiro. Ndasubiramo umuntu wese ashikanira ikimazi kishimwe abampesheje icuwahiro. Kandi utehunganya ingeso ziwe nzomwereka agakiza kimana. 14 haravuga ngo Udushikanire imani kimazi cyo gukenguruka isumba byose uyishitse ko amasezerano yawe uzonyamba eh, uzunyambaze ku munsi wa magorwa nzogukiza nawe uzompesha icubahiro amen amen it's in english once again it's a psalm 50 verse uh, 23 and we're going to go to 14 by 15 and those who suck up as thanksgiving offering uh, has offering me has is offering honor to me. To the blameless, I will show my salvation to them. Uh, let's go on 14. I sacrifice thanksgiving offering to God, fulfill your vow to the Most High, and call, up, and call, call upon me in the day of your trouble, and I will deliver you, and you will honor, my, and you will honor me. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Would you follow with his hand? I read this verse that says Each person should give a sacrifice Of thanksgiving Has done what? That if you give a sacrifice of thanksgiving You are honoring God <laughs> It must speak to people Wow Welcome, Lord of God. Amen. Each that sacrifice offerings of the that if you give a sacrifice of thanksgiving, you're honoring God. So this offering of thanksgiving that you give to God, you are God did for you. First of all, before God, you're showing that you are giving God honor. And you show that that what you have now and what you, and what you had is for God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you feel so, what you have now need you are and what you had before is God that gave, to, that gave them to you. You are giving a testimony that, that God, the honor is for God. Tell friends, the honor is for God. 
before the honest for God. Amen. Amen. The honest for God. Amen. Because the honest for God. Amen. You graduate the honest for God. You graduate the honest for God. You graduate the honest for God. When you want to thank God, give enough, have an offering. Have a testimony you want to give to thank God. And God got it for you. Amen. And second, another thing, when you thank God, you are showing that the, pre the, uh, the presence of his, of his existence the in you. Hallelujah. Amen. When you thank God, you show that the existent that, that God lives in you. Because God is something and you knew. And you knew and through that you knew God. Amen. Amen. Because you cannot thank God without knowing what he did for you. But when you see something God did for you, you stay and thank God. And that is why that when, you, when, you have, when you go to problems, you say, God, if you do this for me, I will do this for you. Isn't that how it is? That if you save my illness, I shall, I shall give you offerings. If you, if you take me out of this moment, and I shall myself thank you. And that's what verse 14 says. Give God a thanksgiving to honor the most high and to, to fulfill the vow you promised to God. Because when you give to God, you're showing that you're fulfilling the, the, the promise of your vows that you said to God, you yourself. Hallelujah. Amen. So now we're going to fulfill the vows we made. The vow we promised to God. That today we are fulfilling. Do not leave today, church. Without fulfilling the, the promise we Do not leave without showing what God did for you. And verse 14 says, and 15 says, and call upon me in, in, in time of your problems and I will deliver you from your problems and you shall honor my name that anytime you're, you're going to problems first of all, you must know first that in your problems you call upon God that before they make a promise before you, before you and God what should make a promise between you and God Fulfill the promise. Once you fulfill the promise, anytime you pray to God, and God is ready to hear you out. Amen. And that's why the word of God says that whenever you are in problems, God my name and I will help and I will save you. Hallelujah. Amen. When you give God a test, a thanksgiving of uh, testimonies. That makes God to do greater things than he did before. If you, if you give God a sacrifice of thanksgiving, or if you give God an offering of, of thanksgiving, that makes God to do more than he did in the past. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Oh, let's go in Genesis. Genesis verse 18, I mean verse 8. Genesis chapter 8. Uh, Genesis chapter 8 verse 20. Verse 20. Mm -hmm. Genesis chapter 8 verse 20. Genesis chapter 8 Yabira Mugitanga eh Mubitunga no Vyose no Mubikoko Vyose Vita Vitazira No Mubi Guru Kavyose Vitazira Abitangira Kugichaniro Kwima Kwiki Mazi Vyoko Squa Ibinarime Uharaho Amo Tarwa Numuba Numuabge Mniza Wavyo Mazuhoraho Yiyumvira mumutima wiwe ati sinzo kongera kuvuma isi kumbugaru kizenga. Hallelujah. 
Amen. Amen. When Noah, after the, the flooding, the Bible says, after Noah buried the, the, the ark and his family, and a lot of animals God had commanded him to do so. Because the rain rained for 40 days and 40 nights. So then the rain come down. And the rain came down. So the rain came down. But 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 the flood only, the, the water only came down after. Uh, 100 after 180 days. And once there's no water anymore. And no opened the ark and saw that the ground no was clear. He did what God told to do so. He brought all the animals from the, the ark to go out and produce. Once he came outside the ark. He saw that the water was clear and was nourishing. And he saw the miracle God did for him. And he, he made a a decision to give God an sacrifice of thanksgiving for God before him. So, he took among all the animals the animals that could be eaten so to took each one, each one and he built an altar and that altar he, he, he put a sacrifice on top and he put on top of the altar and a powerful message they say that whenever you give a sacrifice of thanksgiving it makes God do greater things than he did in the past so when they put the sacrifice God smelled the barbecue God smelled the barbecue and it smelled good and God was very pleased was, was, was pleased God said the what? And God spoke, and God spoke himself in his heart. And God said, so I, I, this, this, that because of the African of this man, because he had built him a good, a good altar, that from now on, so now I will never curse the word of the humans. Ah, hallelujah. Amen. Because what? Because the sacrifice pleased God. Because if not the no sorrow of the heart. And that's why verse 9 says, God told Noah that go, go and will produce and fill the planet. Because what? Because of the out sacrifice that Noah gave. Because the offering of sacrifice you are going to give today. Say two things only. Say so what God did for you. And say, God, today, this year, I will do this for you. That this shall do this for me. Amen. And become a, become a, a, a sufficient uh, offering. What made God to say, as of now, I will never curse the humans or the world? No way, because no way gave a sufficient sacrifice to Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Prepare a sufficient sacrifice. When you stand here and you thank God, let this, let this smell go to God. Let, let the aroma smell good. And and the, may God say, what are you asking of me? And why are you didn't ask of me? I, I because you have given me honor. I, I, I have accepted the sacrifice. I prepare to give. I prepare to receive. So your sacrifice. Let it be a sacrifice that pokes God. Let it be a sacrifice that reminds God of other things. Do not bring as it is. But no, but no understand what God did for you. Well, remember, Hannah. Uh, ha Anna. Anna was. Yaringumba oh, Anna was a, was a, was, a, was, a, was a parentless. Uh, for, for so long she had no child. But she was persecuted for so long. We saw no, no, her sadness. They could see that in your lips. That they could see her lips were shaking and she couldn't speak. And we are sure the church praying. And Eddie taught her. For how long are you going to. How long are you going to be. 
drunk. But she said that I am not drunk. But I have problems, I have sorrows in me. There's something I'm telling God. It's not because I have bad behaviors. But it's because I, 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 could not, I could not conceive it. But I want God to cry miracles for me. And the priest told her, as of now, go home and let God fulfill the oil plans you, you wish. Hallelujah. Amen. So she went home. But she was going home. The, word, the, the prayer with the husband. After they were praying, they went home. When they went home, in the same night, she could see the child. Amen. And God let her get, get, get pregnant. And gave the, the, the pregnant. And she gave birth to a child named Samuel. Amen. That was his. When Harvey saw that, he took he took in, in his household and took offerings and tithes. He went to the church to give offerings to God. And that's what he gave every year. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Our first Samuel verse two. Hannah thanked God. And she said, There's no other God. From earth, heaven and earth. There's no other God that created miracle after they need this God. I have seen this God. And she herself, when it was time to give offerings or uh, thanksgivings, she would give offerings every year. She and her family would go. And the early, the high priest, he said that when you are pregnant, you vow to God that when, when, you get, when you conceive a child, that you give the child to become uh, a worker in the church. Because you have no other child, I'm going to bless I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless you. I'm going to bless you. So that may God replace, replenish where the child came from and have more descendants. Amen. What, exactly, what did that happen? Because all the second one they were giving and at that moment God blessed him with five kids and three kids and two daughters. Amen. Why? Because of the offering they, 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 uh, they gave. So, do not come to concede you get your gifts. Do not come to concede you get your gifts. Do not come to concede you get your gifts. The prophet said, God, I'm giving for what I've seen you before. That God, I want your kingdom to be in me. That God, I want your kingdom to be in me. And the high woman to be, let it be as you want. What I should do, use me as you want me to do. And remember me at this time. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell friend, may God remember you. May God remember you. Amen. We are going to pray and take time to thank God. Let's stop here. May God bless you. Amen. We are going to pray. But if we say, and what we have said so far, we, we say that whenever we give a uh, uh, sacrifice of thanksgiving, we are giving God honor. When, David, when King David was speaking, on the verse we read, uh, he said, in uh, Psalm 118, when God heard him, David gave a testimony in him. And he said, I will never, I will not die. But I will live. So I will live to give honor to God. So in this year, I'm telling you this. You will not die without giving God honor. And what God wants you to do in this year, you will not go through problems. You will not see what to eat. But you will not go to sorrow. Because God will be pleased of your sacrifice. Let's all stand. 
Shimla, Shimla mana, Wadukiji, Jetugi, 